Thymus cytometer is a specialized laboratory device used for manually counting the number of cells in a fluid sample, typically in a controlled volume. Hemocytometers are commonly used in fields such as hematology, microbiology, and cell biology to count various cell types, including blood cells, bacteria, and eukaryotic cells. Here's how a hemocytometer works and its key features. 1. Design A hemocytometer is a rectangular glass or plastic slide with a grid pattern etched into its surface. The grid divides the central area into smaller squares or rectangles, making it easier to count cells accurately. The most common type of grid pattern is the Neubauer chamber, which is widely used in clinical laboratories. 2. Sample loading. To use a hemocytometer, a known volume of the cell suspension is carefully placed in a chamber created by covering the grid area with a specially designed cover slip. The cover slip creates a defined depth for the fluid, allowing for accurate cell counting. 3. Counting cells. Under a microscope, the cells within the grid squares are counted. Typically, cells that touch the top and left boundaries of a square are counted, while those touching the bottom and right boundaries are not, to avoid double counting. Cells are counted in several squares, and the counts are averaged to estimate the concentration of cells in the original sample. 4. Calculation The total cell count is determined by multiplying the average number of cells counted per square by a factor that accounts for the dilution and the volume of the chamber. Hemocytometers are used in various applications, including Hematology, counting blood cells to diagnose conditions like anemia, leukemia, and infections. Microbiology, counting bacterial or fungal cells in culture to determine growth rates or microbial concentrations. Cell biology, counting and assessing the viability of cultured eukaryotic cells, such as cell lines or primary cell cultures. Hemocytometers provide a cost-effective and relatively simple method for cell counting but are more time-consuming compared to automated cell counters. They are often used when precision and accuracy are crucial and when the sample volume is limited.